hi guys welcome back to my channel welcome if you are new and let's get straight into today's crystal french tip video so this set was initially inspired by Claus Carmen over on Instagram and she is personally the first person that I have seen to do this set however credit where credit is due so I'm going to start off by gluing on all of my tips and instead of using nail glue for today's video I'm going to be using a base um, like a top coat if that makes sense and instead of the nail glue this just helps to help it adhere a little bit better since i'm using a peel off base coat now i do want to go ahead and mention this i am using tips that are definitely too big for my index finger my middle finger and my ring finger simply because i'm currently all out of my fours and vibes so i kind of have to make it work however if you um are someone that has a nail size that's in between a small size and a large size always go with the large size um, sides. Always go with the largest size so that you can just cut it down and it'll fit perfectly. Okay, so next I'm going to go ahead and trim them down to the length that I want them to be. I haven't worn my nails super long in the past maybe two videos. Um, so basically what I'm doing is I'm just using my pinky as kind of like my baseline for the length that I want to do. And as you can see, I am trimming them down uh, a little bit oddly. <laughs> so like I said in the beginning of the video, I am using a peel off base coat on my natural nails so that once this set is complete, I can just go ahead and pop them right off. However, this is my first time ever doing this and I was a little nervous that they would just pop off super easily. So I just went ahead and cut them the way that um, you just saw. So um, after that, I just went ahead and uh, shaped the ends. And now I'm just going ahead and buffing out the nail tips and just blending them into my natural nail. So now we are on to the application process and what I do want to start off by saying is I am using a bigger brush for today's video. I'm going with the size 14 I believe instead of a size 12 which is what I've used in my last I believe three videos. Now another thing that I do want to mention is that I have never used a size 14 brush before so this footage is the first time that I've ever used a brush this big. And so far, you know, everything's going great. You know, application's running smoothly. It's going the way that it normally would if I were to use a size 12. However, a little bit of a spoiler. Um, <laughs> when I got to my ring finger and my pinky, things definitely took a turn for uh, the worst. Um, not necessarily the worst, but it definitely was a little bit more difficult to work with um, because I do struggle with um, the bead sizes um, as we get to those nails and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about But yeah, I'm just gonna let you guys watch the rest of this application video and you guys will definitely be able to see what I'm talking about
All right, so this is where things start to get a little bit hairy. So, so far so good. Everything is looking the same way that I did with my index and my middle finger. However, you will see that at the end of this nail, the tip is very thick. Um, now that could be a lot of different things. For one, I do think that because I mix Young Nails Acrylic with Mia Secret Acrylic, that could play into how fast this acrylic sets because if you guys um, if you guys don't know, Mia Secret dries significantly quicker than Young Nails. So I don't think that I gave myself enough time to work with it. Not to mention I am also using bigger beads for this process because I'm using a bigger brush, you know. Um, that just made the process a little bit more tricky to kind of master. Now I do think that in the end, you know, you can't really tell that I had these issues while I was, you know, doing the application or whatever. However, I do just wanted to point that out because I have been getting a lot of comments, you know, saying you make it look so easy or, you know, your application super smooth. And I really do appreciate those comments. However, I do think that it's unrealistic to kind of portray this idea that my application is always perfect because I do run into issues um, pretty much every single time I do nails. I've been doing nails for a while, however, I do st still struggle with, you know, application and stuff and, you know, just wanted to let you guys know that. So I think out of all of the nails, my thumb application was probably my favorite. It was just, it just ran so smoothly. I think because I am using a bigger brush, it just made the application a lot, a lot smoother and just not, not to mention, but like also a lot faster. Normally when I apply the acrylic, it can take anywhere from like 30 to 45 minutes and that's just for one hand. However, this took maybe, 20 25 minutes so that is definitely definitely uh worth it if i'm going to keep using this brush i actually really enjoyed that
Okay, so now we're on to the filing process of the video. So typically during this portion, I do just file the undersides and the sidewalls of my nails. I don't need to do a whole lot of filing underneath the nails because I typically try and keep it as clean as possible when I'm applying the acrylic. And then after this process, I go ahead and do the sides and we'll get some shots of what that looks like after. Now, I don't know if I caught this in the footage, but because I am using a uh, peel off base coat so that I could do the pop off method, um, it was definitely very scary trying to file these nails because I didn't want them to pop off, specifically the pinky. Um, I didn't catch this in the video, but my pinky actually did end up coming off and I had to glue it back on so that I could finish the video. Um, but I actually just thought that was actually kind of funny. <laughs> um, so I guess the peel off base coat method or the pop off method, whatever you want to call it, it actually does work. But if you are someone who uh, likes to practice doing a whole bunch of nails or maybe you like to switch it up very often like me, then I would definitely recommend this method. So now I'm just going to go in with my medium grit carbide bed and I'm just blending uh, the cuticle area into my cuticle, my actual cuticle area. Uh, I typically don't take the carpet bit all the way down the nail because my nails in this video specifically are very long and I would just prefer to use a nail file to get that area. However, if you are doing shorter nails, I would recommend using the carbide bit to just smooth out the entire surface so that when you go in with your gel polish or whatever you do after this step, it'll be a lot smoother and you won't have to worry so much about buffing the nail. Now I do want to mention that when working with any type of drill bit, you want to make sure that you are constantly moving uh, the drill over the surface of the nail in different areas because if you keep it in one area, you will probably end up getting a heat spike and that could lead to just nails that are just painful and you really don't want that. So now I'm just going in with my 8080 grit hand file that I got from Panna on Amazon and I'm just going around and smoothing out the entire nail, making sure that everything is nice and crisp. So because I said that some of the areas were a little bit too thick, specifically on my ring finger and my pinky, I will be using this time to go ahead and make sure that the structure is correct while also thinning out certain areas that got a little bit too thick because, you know, I did get a little bit overzealous. So now I'm going in and I'm filing underneath the nail to create that nice C-curve shape. I didn't include this in the video, but after I did this process, I just went ahead and created a sort of crescent shape on the tip of the nail so that it's a little bit more rounded instead of straight across. I feel like this look definitely works well with the style that I'm doing for today. However, I don't think that it's necessary for the entire look, if that makes sense. So this is what the shape of the nails looks like and we are ready for the decorations. I'm going to be using gold um, rhinestones for today's video. Now I know in the title I did say that these were Swarovski crystals, but to be honest, these are just from Amazon. Now if you want gems that are going to last you and just have like that brilliance, I would definitely recommend Swarovski crystals, but those really require you to like do like applications on certain websites in order to obtain those crystals. So for me personally, I would rather just do these because they're cheaper <laughs> for one. And for two, I change my nails a lot and I don't really see the purpose um, in like saving these because I don't really use them that often. So if you're like me, I would recommend just using ones that you can find on Amazon. And I'll link the uh, items that I used in this entire video in the description box below. So as you can see in the top corner of this video, this was attempt number one. To be honest, uh, 
I really did not like how these or how this nail came out so yeah this was kind of just like my tester finger um, and I do just want to come on here and say that like I am so bad at staying in frame and I'm pretty sure that if you've been watching these videos since I started posting them you could vouch for me so for that I do apologize however the process is super simple basically what I did is I took those uh, diamond shaped crystals and I placed those on first cured those and then I just went around them with uh, these circular rhinestones and cured it and that was basically it this process really did not take as long as I thought it would. I thought it would take forever because these are individual gems that are being placed in specific locations. However, this really did not take me as long as I thought. So that was actually pretty cool. So even despite me knowing at this specific point that I didn't like them, I still continued to put on the top coat. And I don't know why I did that because I didn't record this part, but I ended up redoing that entire nail and it was so difficult to take off what i will say is that it is perfectly fine to use a regular top coat for this because like i said it was very difficult to take off and if you apply enough they should stay on for you know as long as you want them to so yeah just going ahead and doing the middle finger instead of doing such a high up french like i did on the first finger i'm doing something a little bit more deeper and I just feel like it goes better with the style. Um, as you guys saw in the photos that I posted from uh, from Claus Carmen's uh, Instagram, her nails are typically longer and the French is very deep. So I felt like in order to channel that look, I need to go for a deeper French. After this, I just went in and did the exact same process to my ring finger, my pinky, and my thumb. And I ended up redoing my index finger off camera. Um, however, I did end up fixing it in the end, as you can see here. And that is basically it for this little video. I really hope you guys enjoyed and have a great day. Thank you.